Hey everyone, this is Marbos here and this is part 16 of Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown on Impossible Difficulty. Before I continue, I'm going to get one more upgrade from the barracks, which is Iron Will. However, I need some more credits for that first. I do have some damaged parts to sell and I'm going to need three more. I guess I can just sell one Illyrium. And there we go, 100. There we go. And now I can continue. Especially since I'm at zero credits. <laughs> so there's nothing else I can do. UFO power source is done. So before I research all this other stuff, I'm going to do outsider shard first. Small scout. And it has landed. Alright, let's do this then. And I think I'm actually going to send a very similar squad to this. I'm just going to boot one support out of the squad. Sorry, dude. You can have a rest. Yeah, I don't need this support either. So you can have a rest as well. Alright, so I can bring two more. So... to bring. I guess I can bring some of the more experienced ones as well. I could definitely use at least one soldier in colonel rank. Alright, let's do that then. Two heavies are always nice. And I have one more slot. So I'm just going to bring an assault for this slot. Max could use some more action, I suppose. And I do have one light plasma rifle, so I'm going to give it to someone who could use promotion the most for the plus 10 aim bonus. So I think that's going to be Patrick, actually. He needs one more promotion for field medic. And as a support, field medic is a key ability for him. So I'm going to give him light plasma rifle. I'm still bringing two arc throwers, so I'm definitely going to try capturing some aliens, if only for their weapons. Alright, so this looks solid. Let's go then. Strike one. This is a landing site and not a crash site, so there will be a bit more aliens. Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. I expect three, maybe four groups of aliens. There are usually 10, 12 or so. This is a, only a small scout, so there won't be that many. Probably 12 or so. And there we go, that's first group already. And the UFO right in front of me. Alright then, let's do this. 91%, yeah, I'm going to do that. You're going down. The scope definitely helps a lot, especially on the sniper. Alright, I think I'm actually going to use suppression now. On both of them. I don't really want to get hit. Sit down. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> I'm not sure if floaters actually can sit down. <laughs> I might try to capture one of them, mostly for their weapons. Nice hit. Alright, this one is left on one health, so I might try to capture that one. That would definitely be a nice start. However, I would need 
two more turns for that. Since I can't move that far and still use Arc Thrower. If this one drops somewhere close to me, no, he won't. Never mind that. Oh, mutants incoming. Never mind about that capture plan then. Change of plans. Kill the mutants. <laughs> With the rockets. I'm not sure where exactly the others are. So I'm not going to use the rocket just yet. Right, let's get rid of the floaters first. And then worry about mutants. Especially the one in the back. I heard having ammo is nice. Okay, my sniper definitely needs to move. I'm actually not quite sure how exactly to deal with this. That's a good question. This floater is behind full cover, so that's slightly annoying. Maybe I should just blast him with the rocket, or I could use flash on him. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, let's do that. And I missed, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's just try to hit him. 63% is decent. It's a shame I can't move close enough to try a capture. I would definitely do that. But it's not worth the risk leaving him up. I might still get a chance to capture that other floater. I don't think I can actually kill him on this turn. I need to reload my weapons before the mutants get here. So I'm going to do that. Locked and loaded. This should be a better sniper spot. Alright, bring it on. I'm ready. They're trying to pull back. Yeah, I'm just going to blast the mutants with a rocket. If I can hit all three. Yeah, seven damage, that's nasty. The problem with mutants, as I mentioned before, is that they have a very high base chance to hit on impossible. So in this exact scenario, uh, he's using regular plasma rifle. So that means he had 40% chance to hit me behind full cover here. Hmm, just thinking about this. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a rocket. I'm not sure if I'm going to hit the third one, but I can definitely hit at least two. So might as well. There we go, I hit all three, nice. My sniper can't actually see them, that's a bit... Oh, yeah, he can. He couldn't a moment ago. This one should be going down now. I think I'm going to use a smoke grenade, just... To be safe. He is behind full cover, but I don't want him to get hit. Thirty two percent, not good odds. If I move here, I should be flanking this muton. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Or I can be out of range. I'm ready. I could use run and gun and run somewhere here. 
I could also just run up to him, but that's not entirely safe. Not at all. Alright, I'm going to run over here. This is a full cover spot, so it's fairly safe. And I have lightning reflexes as well. So as long as I don't uncover a new group of aliens on this side, I'm safe. And now I should be able to... Oh, there's one more mutant. Right. I can't actually hit the one on the right, but I can hit the one on the left. So that's... and Captain Shore and a promotion. Nice. Yeah, run away. That's not going to save you. Alright, I need a heal. Speaking of heals, I seriously need to build a foundry. At the very least for the uh, upgraded medkit. There's still that one floater somewhere, and here's another group of floaters. Nice rocket target. They're starting to lose ground. And I think I'm actually going to take advantage of that. <laughs> yeah, this is an awesome rocket target. I can kill four aliens with one rocket this way. As long as I don't miss. So I wouldn't be myself if I didn't do this. <laughs> Just don't miss, dude. There we go. <laughs> Four aliens with one rocket. Nice. So there's probably just the outsider left and that one floater which ran away at the start. I might try to capture it. I just need to find him first. In a mission like this, where it's fairly easy to capture aliens, I want to capture as many as possible to get the plasma weapons for free. This dude should be fairly easy to capture. At least I think so. I just need not to kill him, obviously. Which is actually not that easy. I'm going to use a pistol. Okay, that's one damage. Very impressive. <laughs> okay, let's see... I can have one more pistol shot. I just need to move closer. He's probably going to hit someone. But it's okay. He can't really kill me. I do expect him to hit someone now. No. That's even better then. Alright, I still need to do some more damage. Do I have any more grenades? I do. So I'm just going to throw a grenade. This will bring him down to one health, which is perfect for a capture. There we go. I hope I'm close enough. Yeah, I am. Let's do this then. Don't fail. Nice. So that's another light plasma rifle for free. What the hell was that? And there's still that floater somewhere around. I can try capturing him as well. For yet another plasma rifle for free.
This will save me few hundred credits. Easily, not to mention all the materials. I'm actually low on alloys. What was that? So I think there's only this one floater left on the map now. I might be close enough to capture him now. Yeah, I am. Alright, let's do that then. Awesome. So that was one successful mission, I have to say. How many aliens did I capture? Total three. So that's three plasma weapons. Let's have a look. And I got three promotions as well. Best mission ever. Nice. This is an interesting ability. But I never actually tried it before, so I'm not sure if I want to experiment on impossible. I kind of don't. <laughs> and two rockets are always great. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for Rocketeer. Yeah, let's go for Rocketeer. I can test Mayhem some other time. Nice. Okay, so let's have a look. Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research right. team will make it. Two plasma possible. rifles for free. So that's over 200 credits saved. Not to mention all the materials. Yeah, so before I finish, I'm just going to finish the Outsider's Shard research. And assign new research. And yeah, now I can do the alien base as soon as I make the skeleton key, that is. Alright, I'm going to research Illyrium next. And this is going to be the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.